Understanding, a bone to pick, an English phrase explained. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English idiom, a bone to pick. This phrase is rich in history and usage, and understanding it can add flavor to your English conversations. Let's explore its meaning, origins, and how you can use it effectively in your daily communication. A bone to pick refers to having an issue or disagreement that needs to be discussed or resolved. It's often used when someone has a minor complaint or grievance that they want to address with another person. This phrase can add a light, conversational tone to what might otherwise be a serious discussion. The idiom, a bone to pick, dates back to the 16th century. It likely originated from the image of a dog chewing on a bone, representing the idea of someone pondering over a problem or grievance. Over time, the phrase evolved to signify the act of resolving an issue that has been on someone's mind. 1. Expressing personal grievances. When you have a small issue with someone, you can say, I have a bone to pick with you. It's a non-confrontational way to bring up a problem. 2. In light-hearted contexts, this phrase is excellent for casual conversations. For example, I've got a bone to pick with you about who ate the last piece of cake. 3. Avoiding informal situations. While it's great for informal settings, avoid using a bone to pick in formal or professional environments as it might be seen as too casual or even inappropriate. 1. Friendly. Hey, I have a bone to pick with you. You promised me you'd help with my project last week. 2. In media, in movies or TV shows, characters might say, he's got a bone to pick with his boss about the unfair workload. Understanding idioms like, a bone to pick, can make your English more natural and expressive. We hope this video has shed light on this interesting phrase and that you'll feel comfortable using it in your daily conversations. Remember, idioms are a fun way to spice up language learning. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.